with our film called Miss You Already, which is premiering this afternoon. And we're pretty excited. Yeah, we're really excited. The movie is, uh, Morena Banks wrote it. She's a fabulous comedian. And it's about two women's crazy rock and roll women's friendship that turns out <laughs> to have a big challenge that they've got to face. Well, it, it's it's very much a fiction, but it's it's um, taken from a certain time in my life where, where friends had to meet these kind of challenges. And it was about watching them kind of face those journeys and have to go through it and, and have to come out the other side. So yeah, it was it was kind of based in reality, but but a, but a fictional version. And um, I couldn't be prouder of, of, of the result and Catherine's work and Tony Collette and Drew Barrymore <laughs> are amazing. Hi. Hey, what are you up to at lunchtime? Is everything okay? You found out a week ago? Well, how could the tumor have gotten so big? Because it's aggressive, like you. Oh, Jesus. There's a place. Somewhere that's between dream and awake. The lovely nurse puts chemotherapy into the IV drip. And the medicine is like an army of soldiers. And they all march into mummy's body. Left, right, left, right. You kind of look like a superhero. I want chemotherapy! <laughs> Please tell me that you're not going to do that for the next nine months. I play kind of a wild child, a very narcissistic woman who uh, has a husband and a couple of kids and it's kind of quite vain. Tony, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> she's quite vain, you know, and attached. We're all attached to our bodies. This is what we have in our life, right? But she's kind of more attached than most. Um, and uh, throughout the film, she learns that she has breast cancer and has to deal with the changes all of the changes that that brings to her life and to the, the lives of those around her. Um, so it was just so wonderful to play someone who is a kind of a maniac, <laughs> um, who has to wise up basically and get her priorities right and, and really look at life and, and what it means to her and, and how she can make it the best that it can be. Well, there's a really fun producer, Chris Simon. Ta-da! And he, 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 <laughs> and he uh, had, we'd met a, a while ago in London Film Festival, and then he told me about this um, beautiful script. I read it. I was immediately drawn in because everybody in our lives, we deal with people that are going through cha health challenges and everything. So it's a, such a universal theme, so much resonance, but it was so funny and fun the way these girls tried to deal with it and fight it and, you know, still be human and sexy and sexual. And I just love the roller coaster ride. Yeah. Catherine, as a director, I have to say, was so inspirational. We had the blessing of this incredible story and script but she would take us off road daily and it and it was such a complete pleasure and there was such a feeling of trust at the end of the first week I remember we were doing a scene Dom and I were in bed and I just told him that I had cancer and we shot the scene a couple of times and then you just came in with that tiny little camera and just kind of talked us through and the whole energy in the room completely changed and it Everyone kind of went. This is what. This is it. This is what we're doing. I it was just pretty got special. A little camera and just moved it around Tony and Dom, and there, it was just very intimate. And we would find things like a beautiful mural, uh, the "Before I Die" wall was there. Have you seen those? It's, it's a chalkboard. They're all over the world now. This woman. Candy what? makes these great murals. Yeah, and before I die, and then you fill in what you want to do or what you want to achieve. Or and there was one in London, and Kat was like, "Let's go use at that. lunch. Let's go and film it and do it and sneak off and do it. It was great." And then I remember I was just going to grab you, and then Dominic comes. Like, Where are you guys going? And we're like, <laughs> "Well, you probably want your lunch, Dom." He goes, "No, I want to be in it." No. Okay, <laughs> well, piggyback me there. <laughs> Oh, and it's one of the most moving things uh, I I in the film, which is really annoying because I didn't write it. 